Hello and welcome to MBM Kids Online. It's so great to have you joining us and tuning in today. My name is Ben and today is the last episode for this term, but boy do we have a good one. Not only are we looking at the book of Psalms, but we're looking at the book of Judges and we're going to see how God promised a forever priest and saviour. So let's get straight in. Hi kids, I'm Josie and today we're playing a game called Bring Me. So the way this game works is that I'll say an object and you're going to have 20 seconds to bring that object from somewhere in your house back to the TV or the phone, wherever you're watching. Let's start. The first thing I need you to grab is a Bible. Nice and easy. Let's go. All right, now we've got our Bibles. The next object is a sword or maybe a stick from outside if you don't have one. I didn't have a sword, so I got the biggest stick I could find. All right, for the next one, I want you guys to bring me the biggest toy in your house. Let's get it. This is the biggest toy I've got. How big's your toy? The final object we need to get is a box of tissues. Let's do it. And here's my tissues. Let's grab a seat. I bet you're wondering why you need all these things. Well, they actually remind us of today's story. In today's story, we're learning about God's people, the Israelites, who built statues of pretend gods. Now we've just got toys, but their statues were golden statues. So the Israelites built statues to pretend gods and God was angry with them. So he sent enemies to attack them with swords, I've just got a stick. And God's people, they were sad and they cried out, God, help us. So God sent them a judge. A judge is a person who points people back to God. But after a while, the judge died and the Israelites, they built more statues to pretend gods and God sent more enemies to attack them. And they cried out to God again and again. And God sent them a judge to point them back to him. But when that judge died, it happened again, and then again, and again. And we're hearing about that today. Let's look at our story. Hi kids, it's Lydia. In Psalm 110, God promised to send a forever priest and a forever savior. And in the book of Exodus, we see how God had saved his people from being slaves in Egypt and how he brought them across the desert into new land that he had promised. But in the book of Judges, we see that God had to continually save his people. Let's remember what happened. God saved his people, the Israelites, from being slaves in Egypt. He brought them across the desert into new land. God saved them to be his people, to love and worship him alone. But instead, the Israelites made pretend gods and they bowed and worshipped them instead. This made God very angry. So God sent enemies to fight against the Israelites. The enemies, they captured the Israelites and the enemies said mean and nasty things to the Israelites. The Israelites were very sad. They had lost their land and their animals and they were made to work very hard. 
So the Israelites cried out to God to save them. And God? God felt sad for his people. So God sent them a rescuer called a judge. A judge like Ehud. Now Ehud was left-handed. And back then, people that were left-handed were not seen as strong leaders. But even though Ehud was seen as weak, God used him to save his people. Finally, there was peace and everything was great for a little while. Until one day, Ehud died. The Israelites, they forgot about God. They turned from following God. And instead, they made pretend gods and bowed and worshipped them. And this made God very angry. So God sent enemies to fight against the Israelites. The enemies, they captured the Israelites. The enemies said mean and nasty things to the Israelites. And the Israelites were very sad. They had lost their land and their animals and they were made to work very hard. So the Israelites cried out to God to save them. And God, he felt sad for his people. So God sent them a rescuer called a judge, a judge like Deborah. Now Deborah sent a message to a man named Barak. Now Barak, he was not brave. In fact, he was so afraid that he wouldn't go out and fight unless Deborah went with him. But even though Barak was afraid, God used Deborah to save his people. Finally, there was peace. Everything was great for a little while. Until one day, Deborah died. The Israelites, they forgot about God. The Israelites turned away from following God. In fact, they made pretend gods and bowed and worshipped them. And this made God very angry. So God sent enemies to fight against the Israelites. And the enemies, they captured the Israelites. And the enemies sent mean and nasty things to the Israelites. And the Israelites were very sad. You see, they had lost their land and their animals. And they were made to work very hard. So the Israelites cried out to God to save them. And God, God felt sad for his people. So God sent them a rescuer called a judge, a judge like Gideon. Now Gideon was weak. You see, Gideon was from an unimportant family. He was a nobody. But even though Gideon was weak, he had 30,000 fighting men. But God sent all of Gideon's men home, all except 300. Well, with just 300 men, God used Gideon to save his people. Finally, there was peace. Everything was great for a little while until one day Gideon died. This happened again and again and again. And God sent judge after judge after judge to save his people. But the judge could only save the Israelites while they were alive. And eventually, Every judge died. In Hebrews chapter 7, it says that Jesus can completely save because he always lives. Jesus is God's forever priest. Jesus is God's forever saviour. And because Jesus lives forever, he can save us completely. Jesus is our promised forever priest and saviour. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for Jesus. He is our perfect saviour and our perfect priest. Thank you that because he lives forever, we are saved completely. Amen. Hey everyone. Well, what a story. Well, today we're going to discuss it a little bit more using our at home questions. Now, for our discussion group today, we're actually going to be using our VisiWill, and this comes with your at-home questions as well. So yours at home should look like this, and so you're going to want to make it up. You're going to grab both pieces, put them together like this, and then stick, well, we have split pins, but you can just stick something there that allows it to spin around like this. Now my one is a little bit different. My one's a little bit bigger, and I've got colour, so that's just to help us. Now. In today's story, we heard that the Israelites were going around and around in a cycle. You see, the Israelites were worshipping pretend gods. And this made God very upset. So God sent enemies to fight against them. 
And this made the Israelites very upset, so upset that they cried out to God to save them. And God was very kind to them. And so God sent them a rescuer called a judge. Now a judge came and saved these people. They put them, pointed them back to God and everything was great. But like we heard in our story, what kept happening to the judges? That's right, they kept dying. And the Israelites, well, they made idols again and then God sent their enemies and then the Israelites cried out to God and God was kind to them, sent them a judge. Everything was great, but then everything happened again and again and again. Do you remember what we learnt in today's story? That a judge could only save the Israelites while they were alive. Well, right now we're going to open our Bibles and we're going to open them to two books in the Bible today. We're going to open them to the book of Psalms and open it to the book of Hebrews. And we're going to see what God has to say about it. So the first place we're going to open is to Psalm 110. Let's have a read. So Psalm 110, verse 2 and verse 4. The Lord will make you king in Jerusalem over all nations, and you will rule your enemies in their own countries. The Lord has made a promise and will not change his mind. He said, you are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek. We're going to turn our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 7, which is in the New Testament. We're going to read verse 25. So he is always able to save those who come to God through him. He can do this because he always lives, ready to help those who come before God. In these verses, we see that God promised that a king would come, a king that would live forever. And just like it says in Hebrews, because he lives forever, he can save completely unlike the judges of the Old Testament. Now, can you remember who the promised king is? Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that you kept your promise and you sent your forever king and forever saviour, Jesus. Thank you that through him we can be saved completely because he lives forever. Amen. Hi guys, I'm Kubina and today's challenge is a find it challenge. All right, you have to look around the house um, and find six objects that start with a letter from the word of Judges. All right, so if it's the letter J, you're looking for an object. It could be a jar, it could be a jug, it could even be jam. Uh, and then the next letter U, you've got to find an object that starts with the letter U and so on and so on until you have six objects which spell out the word Judges. Um, and then take a photo of those six objects and send it to the kids' email. Um, and uh, looking forward to seeing all of your wonderful objects. Hey everyone, welcome back to MBM Kids Star Board. Now, well done to Jonathan and Matthew. You guys get the coin sticker for completing the coin challenge the other week. Now, this is the last week of MBM Kids Online for the term, which means that it's time for you to send in your entries for the hidden object challenge. Now it's your job to go through and send in your entries for where you think the hidden object is in every video of this term. Now you have until the 7th of October, which is two weeks to send in all of your entries. Now to help out a little bit, I am going to give you a sneak peek of what the hidden object this term was. Are you ready? Do, 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 do. It's a little sheep. Now, it's your job to go through and find them all. A little hint, there is no hidden object in today's episode other than this one. So there you go. You've all got one so far. Now it's up to you. Go and search through all the episodes to find where you think this object is and send it into our MBM email address. And then we will announce the winners and the prizes in next term's video. All right. Thanks for joining in for this term. We'll see you next term.